Hello folks, this is Mike. Now I was out cutting my plants in the backyard and I managed to cut my soaker hose in half with the hedge clippers. I'm not going to replace this hose. In this video, we're going to look at how to repair these rubber soaker hoses. I'm going to try to buy a splice kit, but I'm going to cut off an inch and a half of the end of the hose and take it with me, just in case I have to match it up with something else. And when you get to the store, this is what you're looking for. You get a hose barb and you get two what I would call radiator clamps. This comes as a set. And I couldn't find one of these kits locally, so I had to buy it online. Later in the video, I'll give you some tips on what to do if that happens to you. The great thing about a repair like this is that you can do it in place without having to remove your hose, which would really be a pain. But for this video, I wanted to show you some really good close-ups of how to do this. So I'm going to make these repairs on my work table. And folks, before we do that, we'd appreciate it if you'd go below and like our video, subscribe to our channel, and ring that bell. And that way you'll be alerted when our next video comes out. So we'll start with the half inch hose. And the first step is to insert the hose nip about halfway into the hose. Now this can be difficult and I use some slip joint pliers for extra leverage. Now slip your clamp into place and I'm using a 5 16 inch nut driver to tighten it. You can also use a flat bladed screwdriver if you wish. But you want to get it good and tight. Now slip the second clamp into the hose on the other side and work the barb into that hose. Now be sure to put the clamp on first because after you get the barb installed, <laughs> there's no way to install the clamp. Now slide the clamp into position and tighten. I usually follow up with a ratchet and a 5 16 inch socket to get it good and tight. However, if you use too much horsepower here, you can break the clamp. And the repair is exactly the same for the 3 8 inch hose, although it may take a quarter inch nut driver instead. So that's how to use the splice kit, provided you can find one. The problem I had here in the Houston area was everybody seemed to carry 5 8 and 3 quarter range splice kits for water hose. No one had them for the smaller diameter soaker hose. But you can improvise a bit. I went to the plumbing department and they have uh, 3 8 and half inch hose barbs and they also have 3 8 and half inch hex couplings. And either one of these will work. Uh, you just have to buy your radiator clamps separately. Now, if you can't find the radiator clamps anywhere else, they sell them at auto parts stores. But I discovered that my little sample fit over a quarter inch PEX tubing. The PEX tubing was just a little over $2, so it was certainly economical. And I decided just to try that. And I cut it to about three inches long on my modern saw. Now, if you don't have such a saw, you could use a hacksaw, or you could even use a pair of shears like I'm doing here. Next, I use my sander and I put a bevel on the end of the tube. This will allow it to slip into the hose better and the sharp ends of the tube may also cause it to rip or to tear easily. And you use the tubing exactly like we did the splice kit. You also want to be careful not to bend and flex the tubing too much. This tubing tends to be brittle after it's been in service a long time. It will tend to tear or rip at the end of the barb. And that's exactly what happened to me here. Oh no, look at that. So now we can turn the water on and take a look at what we've got. And everything is dripping, so I think this is okay. If you have a lot of extra water coming out of that joint, you probably need to redo it. Now if you don't like the idea of running around looking for parts, these can be bought online. And I will put a couple of links in the video description for half inch and three eighths inch splice kits. But understand, even though it doesn't cost you extra, we would get a small commission from a purchase made on those links. Now, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to send those to me, and I will get back to you personally. And until next time, thanks for watching.